Hello guys, got a video here today on the Theoban Rapid and in this one I'm going to be making a new regulator piston for the rifle. So the original one is made from brass and I'm going to be remaking it out of titanium. So let's go over to the lathe and I'll tell you why. Right then, over at the lathe I have my piece of titanium chucked up and it's going to be fairly easy to follow along with the build but the first thing I'm doing here is drilling the hole through the middle of the par. This is a 3mm hole that's going to be 42mm deep, so it's pretty deep in relation to its diameter. To drill that out, I am just using a 3mm carbide drill, and this went much better than I expected it to. I did have to take it nice and slow, and I was pecking around 1mm at a time, then removing the swarf after each peck. I did start off just dry with no lubricant, but as the hole got deeper I started putting some oil on the drill bit to stop it rubbing on the inside of the walls. Once it was drilled out to depth I opened the end out to 3.1mm, then used a rotary brooch to put a 3mm hex in the end, and this will allow me to adjust the regulator just like on the standard par. With that out the way, the rest of the machining is pretty self-explanatory, so that will just be happening in the background, and I'll explain why I'm making the new piston. So very basically, I'm experimenting with a titanium piston to see if it speeds up the recovery time of the regulator. A titanium piston will be much lighter than a brass one, and it should react much faster to external forces, making the opening and closing time of the regulator faster. For me, it's easier to think of these things in extremes. So if you first imagine a regulator piston that weighs one gram, the piston itself will be very easy to move and the weight of the piston will not really have any impact on the spring used to open the regulator as it's cycled. The weight will also mean the piston will accelerate very quickly when the regulator pressure drops and the cycle speed of the regulator should be fairly snappy. Now on the flip side of that, if we change the weight of the piston to around 100 grams, the piston weight is no longer inconsequential. The weight of the piston will have an impact on the spring used to open the regulator, and the rate at which the piston accelerates will be much slower. So in other words, I would expect the regulator to behave much more sluggishly with a heavier piston. Now, with that said, in our real world example, we're not dealing with a 1 gram and a 100 gram rig piston. The difference between the two pistons will be around 6 grams in total. The point of the thought experiment is to highlight the effect the weight has on regulator operation, and hopefully, it should give you a better insight into why I'm doing all this work. I will say I'm not expecting a massive change in a real world test. The original Theoban or RAW regulator is already very good and any improvements made to it will be fairly marginal, but I like experimenting and if nothing else at the end of this piece here, we'll have a modification that is fairly rare. The other thing I'll mention is that I am by no means the first person to think of titanium for a regulator piston. I know of a few other people who have already experimented with it and had good results. So it's not a unique or new idea, but I did want to use the Theoban or the RAW regulator as a test bed, as the piston itself is already fairly heavy and replacing it with a titanium one will shave off a good amount of weight. The brass piston weighs in at 13.87 grams, and the finished weight of the titanium piston will be around 7.47 grams. So the titanium piston is nearly half the weight of the brass one. With that all said, we're coming to the end of the machining footage, so I'll take you back over to the bench and I'll get you a good look at the new component and show some of the results of the tests. Right then, back over at the bench and here we have the new part. I must say it looks rather nice in titanium, but the other thing I want to mention is that I have made one or two changes in comparison to the original part. So firstly, the shaft that the Belleville washers go on is made slightly larger and what this does is just stop the Belleville washers from moving horizontally when the regulators are all built up. 
The other thing it does is make it a better fit in the small nut here, so there's not as much play around the shaft and the nut as there is with the original part. Second thing I'll mention is that I'm not sure what material the factory uses as the sealing part. So this white section here is the sealing part of the piston. I've gone ahead and used Delrin in my one. However, the original one looks to be either Delrin or maybe a nylon, something like that. I've just used Delrin on my one. I did read on one of the forums that in high power, the preferred sealing method was peak. It seemed to work slightly better for them. So in the future, I may go ahead and experiment with peak. For now though, that's just Delrin. The final difference between the two pistons is that I have gone ahead and replaced the urethane seals with just some nitrile ones. With that said, that's pretty much all the physical changes. I've gone ahead and rebuilt the regulator and then set it to around 90 bar. So you're probably wondering if the new titanium piston has made any change to the operation of the rig and the bench test does look quite promising. If we compare the setup side by side you can see that the new setup looks slightly faster. It's not a big difference, maybe a second or so, but an improvement nonetheless. Unfortunately, it's not a super scientific test as I did make a couple of changes within the setups like O-ring material, exact reg pressure and a few dimensional changes and the new setup also does use a titanium spacer ring, so this ring here, rather than the original steel one. So how much of an improvement was down to purely the new piston is debatable, but at least I didn't make it worse. Right then, moving past the bench test into a real world test, there wasn't really any major difference between the two setups. Again, the titanium piston was very slightly better over the chronograph, producing a slightly tighter feet per second spread and a tighter standard deviation. So standard deviation is the average change in feet per second between shots. However, again, the original setup was very good, so any improvements are not going to be very dramatic. The only other thing I'll mention in regards to testing is that I haven't tested the rifle for accuracy again. I can't imagine the accuracy would have changed at all, but I will let you know if I notice anything in the next video. With that all said, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. The titanium piston did give a very slight improvement to the rifle's performance and overall I do think the experimentation was worth it. I did quite like working with titanium so I'm definitely going to be making some more titanium parts for the rifle so keep an eye out for more vids on the Theoban. With that all said, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.